let's look at Luke 4, 18 and mm -hmm. compare it to the one verse of the Quran. This says, I got this in the middle okay. to give us a little bit, a look what, what the Bible said and what the Quran says concerning mm -hmm. uh, uh, slavery. Uh, in the Bible, in Luke chapter 4, verse 18, the Bible said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. And by the way, that was the words of Jesus. Absolutely. And this is a prophecy in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. written hundreds of years before Jesus comes. So in the Christian faith, which is represented in the West, uh, freedom, liberty is given to all men, mm -hmm. to, uh, to everyone. Not only to end the slavery in the flesh, but even slavery to sin, even slavery to Satan, but to the man to be set free, to be uh, completely... Uh, 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 to proclaim liberty to the captives. Yes, indeed. To set at liberty those who are oppressed. Mm -hmm. uh, he, I mean, to do lots of things, healing, salvation, but specifically this, this liberty, this, this free. And, and very quickly, uh, just for those who watched our previous show, like Peter or others, and who are watching this one, there is a, a, a preaching series, and, and more than one pastor or evangelist have preached it, but they, they entitled, Jesus, Our Jubilee. Yes. And that Jesus is, is the, the fulfillment of one that, who redeemed. that jubilee mm -hmm. year that you were talking about in the Old Testament, Leviticus, this yes. idea of the, when he says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, mm -hmm. He's talking about the year of release. He's talking about the jubilee. Yes, indeed. When the slaves are set free. And, and so Jesus... And that's what happened every 50 year. Every 50 year, everybody been set free. Every land go... Because in the, in the Old Testament, you cannot sell land. Right. You take it away because of the time of need. The person who take your land have to give you your land back to go back to your family, to your children, yeah. to your grandchildren. Yeah. And on the year of jubilee. So Jesus comes and he is the eternal jubilee. Amen. And, and he, in him, we're always free. Amen. He came to fulfill what was written hundreds of years Amen. as written by the prophet. Amen. That is a verse in the Bible. Let's compare this to the verse of the Quran. Now. This next verse, chapter 9, verse 5, is the final, final word of Allah. Do you know, mm -hmm. Brother Joseph, that this verse, 9, 5, is a verse, abrogate 124 verses of the Quran. And it's, it's funny that Muslims only quote this 124 verse from the Quran to the American. The verses which is completely erased, abrogated. Listen carefully to what Allah said in chapter 9 and verse 5. The Quran says... So, when the forbidden months are past, so kill the polytheists wherever you find them, and take them as captives, and besiege them, and lay wait for them with every kind of ambush. So, if they repent, and perform the prayer, and give the legal alms, so leave their way free. Surely, Allah is forgiving merciful. Three things, Brother Joseph. Mm -hmm. Allah's final word, Islam. Allah, final word. Number one, Muslim will kill you. Number two, they will take you slave. Oh, here it is. And so taking captive, slavery in Islam, it is Allah's final word. The third option is you repent, convert Islam, believe in Islam, which itself is slavery. So uh, where we find, what we find in Islam, but killing, slavery, and Islam itself. The three options you have. But in Christianity, as we read in Luke 14, 4, 18, Jesus came to give us liberty. He came to set us free. He came to pardon us, to set us free uh, 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 physically and spiritually, mentally, to worship Him, to believe in Him, to have eternal life with Him, uh, to live on earth right and to have it eternally, forever and ever. A couple of quick comments and we have a caller. Sure, brother. Uh, you know, you're, what you're saying here too, remember Jesus says in, uh, in John chapter 10, the thief, the thief comes to do what? Kill, destroy, and steal. And what does Islam do? Kill, destroy, steal. And I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Praise, Praise God. God. Amen. What, 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 a, what a contrast. <laughs> and uh, this is a contrast between Jesus Christ and Muhammad, no doubt. And this verse that you have mentioned, Surah 9, verse 5, as you pointed out, it abrogates, it nullifies, it makes void so many other verses, verses in particular those that the Muslims love to quote, uh, there's no compulsion in religion. Uh, you have your religion, I'll have my religion. Hmm. And then finally, just for clarification for those who don't know, the abrogation, the idea, the belief of most Muslim scholars is that Surah 9-5 was either the very last 
uh, ayahs to be revealed or the second to last ayahs to be revealed by Muhammad. Now, very interesting, of course, the, the doctrine of, of uh, nasuku mansuk. Abrogation. The, the abrogation. abrogator and the abrogated would say that what comes chronologically later is what you should go with. Absolutely. And what came earlier should be, if, it, if there's any if contradiction, it, should be wiped away. Absolutely. If we apply that same logic to the Bible, even though the book of Deuteronomy does not teach the same type of slavery, mm -hmm. although it does allow for a type of slavery which is much more just and everything else, mm -hmm. even that is, in a sense, abrogated mm -hmm. by the New Testament. But Muslims will not allow oh, the yeah. same logic they apply to themselves to be, to be applied to our Bible. And when they want to talk about this subject, do they go to the New Testament or do no, they go to no, no, Deuteronomy, no. Leviticus, Exodus? They're going to find some <laughs> passage in the Old Testament. They're going to uh, interpret it themselves. Yeah. They're not going to read the scholar, no. Christian or Jew scholar no, no. To, the, to interpret. No, they're going to interpret it the way they like it. And yeah. that is playing a game. Let's see if we can take that one caller. Sure, and brother. then we'll go right back to you, Brother Osama. Let's take the first caller on this program tonight. Welcome, you're on the air. Oh, it's the second call, second actually. Call, yes, yes. Uh, you were on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Uh, hey, Pastor Joseph and uh, Brother Osama, this is Derek from Houston. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Derek, thank you so much for calling. Uh, how do you like the show so far? Oh, it's, it's wonderful. That's why I'm calling in. I, Osama, you're a great teacher. I mean, Thanks, Brother. I mean, I wish I would have heard this teaching before. God bless you. You, oh, appreciate it. you can always uh, go on, uh, on our website here, yeah. and you can watch this. Actually, you can get a DVD out of it, I believe so. So he could get wow. this DVD and yes, teach indeed. it to others. Absolutely. Well, this is very well done, by the way. Yeah, uh, you've done really... a good job with that Thank PowerPoint. You. Yeah, Derek, very... go right ahead. Okay, I'll make it quick. I just, it's very good apologetic work because Muslims bring this up every time. They also bring up polygamy in the Old Testament. Maybe I could do a show on that sometime, too. Mm -hmm. sure. That would be right. amazing. Um, yeah. I just wanted to say uh, I, I appreciate what your guys are so encouraging. Um, I have a friend. His name is Derek, too. Uh, he's a black guy. Mm -hmm. He came to Christianity. He was a Muslim and then reverted back to Islam because he bought into the whole lie of Christianity being the white man's religion. Mm -hmm. oh, and boy. he's still a Muslim to this day. Mm. Boy, um, you, you know what, Derek? If there's any way you can get him to watch this program, you're aware that all of our programs uh, are cached on our website, and you can yeah, watch them oh, anytime for free on demand, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. If there's any way absolutely. you can get him to watch this program, at least just tell him, look, you know, these guys bring this point. Uh, here's an African that's bringing it. Osama's the African, not me. I'm a true uh, African. I don't think your body, your body, Dirk, is an African. We're going to talk a little bit more about this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, that's true. Yes. Tell, tell him, say, here's a true African that says you're wrong. Please yeah. watch it, and then let's discuss. And if you disagree, bring your evidence. Maybe that'd be a good discussion point. Amen. Yes, Amen. Absolutely. God, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I, after a lot of prayer, you know, I, I enrolled in a seminary, and I, I start in January. And Wonderful. I Praise God. I don't want to take up too much time on the program right now, but maybe towards the end, I would yeah. appreciate it if you guys could pray for me. Sure. Amen. Um, sure. Amen. I've been studying Islam, and I've, I study a lot of my own, but it's God has really put it on my heart to go get educated Brother and Dirk. get something out of it so I can, you know, follow in the footsteps of people like Osama and you, Pastor yeah. Joseph. And uh, I'm your Pastor servant, Paul, David. Wood. We're gonna, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you now, and I want you, I hope you'll be able to watch our program tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern if with he, Pastor Imri Moss. If he can get his body, oh, Derek, definitely. to sit with him and watch it together. Oh, that would be great. You, know, you know, Derek, that's right. Tomorrow night, Pastor Imri Moss, you know he's a black American, yeah, brought up yeah. in Detroit metro area, has a large church here. Uh, he's going to be on with us, and he's going to bring, I mean, now he's probably in his 60s, and, you know, yeah. the Nation of Islam, of course, started right in the Detroit metro area. Oh, man, that's awesome to see him. He's and he's going to bring some of his own personal interactions and experiences yeah. with this, this uh, stuff of the 20th wow. century. Boy, if you could get your friend to come sit with you and watch it, that'd be something else. Cup of you know, coffee. I yep. would love to, but unfortunately, I lost contact with him. He oh. moved out of Texas, so I haven't talked to him in, in a long while. I can't, you know, I don't have any way of getting a hold of him. Oh, my. Um, well, well, Derek, yeah. let, me, let me pray for Brother you. Brother Joseph, one yeah. more thing. If you Google his name, if you Google yeah. his name, you'd be surprised. You can get his number. Just Google his name. Yeah. We'll see what the Lord is going to do. Nowadays, it's scary. Yeah. I'm going to try. And also, I just wanted to say real quick, 
I would love to see Pastor Emery Moss or Obama base debate Reverend Rock, Obama's former pastor. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even believe he calls himself a Christian if he still teaches slavery in the Bible. You know, I'm sure he did. He's very yeah. liberal. Derek, this um, is this is my personal view. I don't know if you share it. I don't know who shares it. ABN doesn't endorse this one way or the other. But my personal view is that Barack Hussein Obama and Reverend Wright and all of those folks have the exact same ideology as the Nation of Islam and Malcolm X. Absolutely. Th that, that is a, a racist theology of black empowerment. Yes. A and with Malcolm X and the Nation of Islam, it is cloaked, it is dressed in the Islamic religion. With right. Jeremiah Wright and Obama, it is cloaked in the United Church of Christ Christian religion. But at the, you know, Jeremiah Wright, quotes direct quotes from malcolm x from the pulpit oh yeah oh yeah but malcolm x calls himself a muslim jeremiah wright calls himself a christian <laughs> but but yeah. you know yeah anyways that's you, know you need to invite him on the show to debate that would be awesome he can debate, debate osama no he will not or i promise you that would be that would be awesome well, I want right. Obama to call in. I keep trying to offend him enough to call, get him to call, but Obama, just, he doesn't, doesn't want to call me. <laughs> so we had to settle yeah. for Osama instead of Obama. <laughs> I mean, Reverend Wright. Did I say Obama? I said maybe you can get Reverend Wright on the show and debate him. That was pray. Awesome. Pray God's will be done. Let, let's pray let's for pray. Derek. Dear Heavenly thank Father, you. and all you Christians out there, join us now. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for Brother Derek. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord God, we thank you for his testimony. We thank you for mm. his love for you and his zeal. Mm. Oh, Lord God, I thank you for the, the spirit that you've given him, your Holy Spirit, that mm. spirit that we share, that yes, spirit Lord that's Jesus. manifesting right now over the air. Mm. Oh, Lord God, I pray that you would strengthen him. Mm. I pray that you would fill him with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, the vision that you've birthed in his heart to reach out to Muslims for Christ, mm. I pray that you'd grow grow that vision. Mm -hmm. Lord God, that you'd grow it into a vision to see revival. For he knows, Second Chronicles 7, 14, that your people must bow their knee and repent and become humble and pray and seek your face, Amen. repenting of our sins. Amen. And then you will hear from heaven. Yes, and Lord. then you will forgive our sins. Yes. And then you will heal our land. Yes. Oh, Lord God, anoint your servant, Derek. Help him, Lord, to go through seminary, not just to fill his mind with theology, but to fill his heart yes. daily by hiding in you, by going into his prayer closet, mm. by going into your word. Make yes. him a mighty man of valor for Christ yes, Jesus. Lord. Make him a mighty man of valor in the kingdom of God. Yes, Use yes. him, Lord. Mm. Help him to humble himself in your sight, to be very humble. Oh, humble him, Lord. Help him to humble himself in your sight. Therefore, we know you will lift him up, not for him, but for your sake. Use oh, him Lord. mightily. Oh, Lord, Lord. Give him ever-increasing opportunity and fields of witness. Lord God, give him favor everywhere he goes. Yes, Help Lord him Jesus. to hide himself in you. Help yes, him Lord. to set his love upon you, knowing that then you Amen. shall deliver him from all of his enemies. Put a hedge of protection around him. Amen. Give him a special ear with black Americans who have been so deceived about Christianity. Oh, Lord God, use him mightily. Strengthen him. Keep him away from any, any anything. Lord, that hedge of protection around him. Keep him away from any device of the enemy yes, that Lord. would get him to the right or to the left or to look back. But as he is setting his hand to the plow, help him to look ahead. And as Thank he you, looks Jesus. towards you, Jesus Christ, mm. that he will trust in you with all of his heart, leading Amen. not to his own understanding, but in all of his ways, acknowledging you. And we Amen. know that you will direct his path. You will use Thank him Jesus. for your glory. For you say your eyes run to and fro throughout the earth, that you were looking for someone whose heart is perfect towards you mm. to show yourself strong through. May Amen. his heart be perfect towards you. May he love you with all of his heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love his neighbor as himself yes, before Lord. he does anything else so that he might walk in your precepts and walk in the anointing of your Holy Spirit, the power of the same, and you might be glorified, and fruit might abound to your kingdom, souls being saved daily, and we give you the praise and thanks in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Praise God. It's good to have this uh, wonderful time of prayer. I'm sorry good. to to take an extended good. time, but awesome. I just good. felt like we need to do that for Brother Derek. Amen. And uh, we'll praise the Lord. We'll uh, we'll bless him and we'll hear from him from him again. Amen. Thank you, Brother Derek. God bless you.